A Bradenton woman believes coyotes are to blame for the recent death of her four dogs. It all happened in a West Bradenton neighborhood just two blocks away from Manatee Technical College's West Campus and less than a mile away from IMG Academy. ABC 7's Rick Adams spoke to the victim today and joins us live in the studio. Rick, what did you learn tonight? Yeah, Jacqueline, this is a dog owner's worst nightmare. Christy Young and her husband are trying to cope with all this. She reached out to us uh, to warn others. We do warn you, some of the images may be graphic, so look out for it. Christy Young and her husband will never forget. Sunday afternoon, they came home to discover their four miniature pincher dogs dead. Three of their bloodied bodies were found spread out in the backyard, while the other one was discovered inside their home. Young believes it could be the work of a coyote. It was horrifying. It was horrific. It's like we just, I just lost it. I was hysterical. It was just the worst feeling I could ever imagine. It was just the worst sight you could see. The dogs range in age from six to 10 years old and they have access to the backyard through their doggy door. It appears all four of the dogs were attacked in the backyard with one of them making it back into the home, dying inside. This is video of a coyote that was spotted less than five miles away from their home near Church in Bradenton. From the marks, you know, it looks like a dog bite that got the little ones by the neck, so we're assuming it's a coyote. Wildlife expert Justin Matthews says we're seeing coyotes around even in congested areas because of all the development. He tells us that unfortunately we could see more and more incidents like this, and he's urging people to be extra careful when they're outside with a pet or even children. If you see a coyote, all you got to do is start yelling like crazy and throw your arms up and then they'll take off. Young says that even some cats have gone missing around the neighborhood. There's hope that the animal responsible for these deaths will be captured. Now all that's left for the Youngs are memories and the graves of their dogs buried in their backyard. We were still trying to cope with it and deal with it. It's still kind of hard because it's still emotional for both me and my husband to get up in the morning and, you know, they used to sleep with us. Yeah, such a sad story there. And if you do spot a coyote, you're being asked to call the authorities or animal control immediately. Jacqueline, back to you. All right, Rick, thank you.